Introducing the challenger, Susie, Susie Q, Ramadan! Introducing the champion, Sugar Neeks Johnson! Savannah Marshall in the headlining bow gardener, outpointing Michaela Mayer in a, a fantastic day for women's boxing overall. Now we've got a good one here. Had all the makings to actually be, and you can tell uh, they're they're going for it. Of Jernika Johnson, and you see Ramadan trying to pounce on it. Yeah, you see the red career. Ramadan has lost big cut over the left eye of Jernika, but these ladies have been throwing a lot of shot. A shot uh, cut that high on the head. Now the doctors are going to look at her. She's got blood from the nose. She's got gauze in the left nostril. Now the ringside physician looking at, oh goodness. Yeah, that's going right in the eye. Very, very dangerous place for that cut. And I don't know if they're going to let her continue. The test lasts. So an accidental cl Easy way out from any of these situations. You say you can't see, but she said she's ringside physician wanted to stop the fight. You want to give the test. You want to, and the rep and the physician took a long look. No, no, I'm glad this fight is going because I feel like it was just heat. I think Ramadan's being, uh, especially taking advantage of the fact that she might be hindered in her. And I glare of Jernika Johnson just trying to find some visibility. It stinks. If it gets in your eye, it burns. Very of the belt against the former champion Ramadan, a good overhand right gash. I like what Johnson's doing here. He, she came out with a stance like she's in the bank. Ramadan, you heard, and a no knockdown push. You heard a push from Johnson there, and Ramadan pops right back up. Is getting that up, move towards that eye because if there's kind of any kind of eyesight hindrance, you want to move that way, you want to try and shoot the most. Yeah, it's now two round putting the from that high guard, and she's answering in combination and changing her levels too. You mentioned the upper body move from hips of Ramadan, all the ability, good movement for fluid upper body movement, which is why she might have caught that headbutt as well. Than she wanted to be because she needed to bank the ones. Absolutely, yeah. She got very dialed in after that third round. And she's been very successful these last round in the last round. Yeah, it seemed quite a bit from Ramadan. She swore punching in the back of the head. This time for punching during a clinch. It's white when this clash of heads in the second. Very formidable challenger in the former champ. Slow start in the first round, round and a half. Yeah, and we got, they've done a great job getting that medicine in there and stopping that bleeding. Good counter right from Johnson, comes back with the... Really like the adjust. <laughs> and you're right, it hasn't been that busy, and a lot of times that's the number one thing down the, down the stretch. This is just 2018, but it is her second. Recently she's fought a lot, but over the past couple of years now, coming in from Ramadan. Um, Ramadan's obviously the smaller of the two. I think it would be good to bang in that body a little bit. Good Johnson over the 43-year-old Susie Ramadan. Win that title again, and then base in Australia for his very smart young man. He's always thinking ahead. He knows where he's headed, and, and he knows this is Susie Ramadan after she landed left jab. This fight. Oh, good count over the top from Johnson. That's exactly what comes here. Yo, here in round number seven for Jamaica Johnson's IF Junior Featherweight World Championship. Good action here. Upper body movement that Chris Algieri talked about. Away. That's that's been a uh, a common interaction. Oh, not going back to the well once again with that overhand right. Almost exclusively standing in the center of the ring for this entire. Give you a reason why Ramadan is. 
Our number eight for a schedule following this one will be a fight for the vacant WBO International Tim Wade title between Norbelto and Andrew Maloney, both in brother Jason, fighting on tonight's card as the jab. She probably threw 10 or 11 jabs in that first minute of this round. Oh, poor right hand over the top. Over the top right hand has landed. If she was deducted a poor punching Johnson in the back of the head, and thought she was punched in that. She just needs to keep it simple. Like you said, she's staying in the center of the ring. She's the bigger, stronger of the two. Instructions not stopping at his command. She was warned for that earlier in the fight. So now she's been deducted. Uh, I'm landing right hand as well. So he's lost on the card. Two point deduction. The, the problem is, Chris, uh, that indicates she's got that in her to catch Johnson and put her on. I mean, like I said, like we've been saying all night, you know, Johnson is the stronger of the two. She's got more power. She seems bigger. I, I, I agree with you, Eric. I don't, I don't see the power from Ramadan that can pull this out of the fire. Chris is that Johnson has seemed okay and comfortable fighting at a lot of different distances. A lot of her game tonight, John. I'm very impressed. You know, I, I watched her before down to the body with the right hand and then caught Ramadan on the chin with the left hook. Just missed with that left hook. Needs to be a little bit lower, but it was beautifully timed. 16th pro fight for the 27th week of Johnson. Round number nine is coming to a hand over the top again. Nico. Her featherweight world, she does Susie Ramadan have some here in this title fight. Kicking up good left hand shot from Ramadan in there. Turned the head cut on the forehead of Johnson. Mess. But really, since then, it's been in control. We're going to get this far. Ramadan catches Johnson on the storm here for the final 30 seconds. She scored a knockdown in the fourth. That one, two, one from Johnson has been very effective. Good strong finish from both, both fighters. And what a way to kick off our broadcast here at Rod Labor Arena. It's a fantastic women's fight. For your winner and still the IBF female Junior Featherweight World Champion, Sugar Nate Johnson!